Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys my first impressions on Jujutsu no Kaisen on episodes 1 and 2 and possibly a ho hopefully a simple recap. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys might be asking me, okay, what took you so long to actually want to pick up this series? Honestly, I heard about the series multiple times through social media and from other friends and how it's overhyped here and there. And I decided to take a look at the... Mal score and it looks like to me it might be decent but I highly doubt it'll be much decent and you guys might be asking me why do you, why are you bothering to watch it anyway then well that's just me I don't know maybe I'm just being idiotic or stupid like anyone else in the in the anime manga community maybe to check it out see if what it's truly capable of and by the first when I first time look at the first few minutes of the first episode it looked like to me it didn't look like it was that great I go like yeah this is your typical kind of teenager kind of fool but whatever the case may be let's just start the first recap on the first episode all I could see is that what's his name again um Itadori Yuji whatever his name is Itadori san Apparently, he's your typical high school teenager kind of guy who apparently he has a lot of strength here and there, which we don't really know why, etc. But he has another ability involved. But whatever the case may be, he does visit his grandfather, and his grandfather gave him a last couple of words one last time, you know? You're a very strong kid. You should use that power to help others out, and don't live yourself isolated or alone like how I did, okay? Don't go living that kind of life. It's not something that it should be, you should be proud of. And eventually, he passes away with those last words. And, you know, Yuji will later on meet up with some guy named... What's his name? Um, Fushiguro? Fushiguro? Whatever, his, whatever the case may be. He tells Itadori that you got something that is very dangerous. But, unfortunately, the contents are not there due to the fact that the club that... Um, Itadori was part of ends up deciding to unwrap it or take it out and take a look Unfortunately, it becomes bad news as a lot of demons or curses whatsoever are going after it Fujitadori or Fu Fushi Fushigu Fushigoro decides to go and try to solve the situation and Itadori will come in to help out too But unfortunately some bad news comes about of a part where um a desperate situation where Itadori will end up eating that single finger which is known to be the cursed object whatsoever and gains mighty powers from it and destroys the cursed cursed demon right away. And we have too that our, our new buddy Gojo Sensei, I'll call him Gojo Sensei or G Sensei because I think it's much more nice. He seems to be more interesting than freaking Itadori, but whatever the case may be, he ends up showing his power, etc. and defeats him effortlessly and decide and tells um Itadori Itadori or something about like um about the situation that he's in he's giving him two options due to the fact that he helped him out you know you either grab all the Sakuna fingers consume them and die or two you die right now <laughs> sounds like it sounds like to me after Itadori thinks about it about the situations here and there he decides to take the other option you know consume all the Sakuna fingers and then just like um die after figure out what comes afterwards, you know? Eventually, you know, um, Itadori will later on be um, escorted to a jujitsu temple that's happening in the second episode. Sorry about that, like I said, being a little confusing. Episode 1 was the introduction of certain characters and Itadori given an option what to do in the second episode and later on he meets the teacher of the jujitsu um, school and he asks him a question of like, why do you want to do this, you know? You know, you understand what the situation is for you, etc. And of course, you know, like, uh, there's another finger that um, Itadori's consumed, and he seems to be still be in control here and there. And we also got to know about the history of, um, of Sakuna. That's what the evil spirit is, you know. And we got to know that he's known to be a god or possibly human that's very strong, etc. And then, you know, he got split into pieces, whatever the case may be. But, yeah. Anyways, meeting the freaking, like, principal of the jujitsu school etc. We have to that the guy was trying to get the right answer out of Itadori. Why do you want to do this, you know, etc. What's your motivation? What's your source of it? You know, natural disasters happen to everybody each day. What's your what's your what's your take in it? Why do you want to do this, etc. overall. And you know, with not a good enough answer, we have to it that the principal decides to have his cursed dog beat the living heck out of Itadori for the right answer, you know. Eventually Itadori gives out the answer where like um, he doesn't want to live he doesn't want to live without any regrets or something, etc. And live how he, the way how he lived, he doesn't want to regret it at all, you know? 
Eventually, the principal, after getting a satisfying answer from Itadori, you know, he decides to let him in. And we get to see G-sensei or Go -sen Gojo-sensei along with, like, um, F Fushiguro, Fushiguro ends up having to talk with each other about the situation here and there, you know. And, of course, we get to know that Itadori is going to be the... Is gonna be the locator for the Sakuna fingers and consumer, you know? Since you're gonna be our radar whatsoever, you're gonna come with us every now and then, kind of thing, you know? And we also got to know a power level of G Sensei, like he's very strong. I mean, like, even if Sakuna gains all of his powers whatsoever, he will be the one, like, um, still beating his butt up no matter what. So, makes me question, like, um, if is the power scaling really, like, um, is it really, like, um, consistent, you know? I don't know. Whatever the case may be, we may we may find out in the future. But sometimes, like I said, when it comes sometimes back sometimes when it comes to certain shonen shonen series or supernatural series, sometimes the power levels tend to be inconsistent very badly. Let's not let's not forget that. I mean, we all I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might have read a lot of shonen or watch a lot of shonen, and you will know where I'm getting at here. That aside, um, we have to at the episode two ends off with some chick having to like him being. A, being excited to like go somewhere and we see the preview of the next episode called Gir Real Girl Steel whatsoever. Whatever the case may be, like um Girl Steel is what it called, etc. So what are my first impressions after watching episodes one and two? Okay, at first when I was watching episode one, I was kinda like, okay, what the heck? This guy is like idiotic, he's super strong for no reason. What's the deal here? And you know, he ends up having another role to actually consume a suck in the finger, like, out of nowhere. And later on, he somehow could control himself and t take over the body still. But he ends up still having those stupid cursed guys, cursed person inside his body, like, moving around, etc. You know? Whatever the case may be, gosh dang, man. He's... Well, all I can really say, MC looks like he's an idiot or something. And he doesn't want to put much effort in life, which is really typical in any other series, which you can find in multiple characters in well, so many characters in that and so many other series, there's no denying that, and, yeah, I mean, like, um, I guess it's not too bad for now, I mean, like, um, I guess this Sakuna thing, which is known to be a, known to be a main theme in this, for the series, to grab all the Sakuna fingers and then maybe just destroy them, but apparently they can't be destroyed that easily, which G-Sensei showed to Itadori, you know, but that aside, we get to know that G-Sensei is not some kind of joke either, I mean, like, um, he did say if Sakuna would grab all of his power, it would be draining to fight him on, but I will still win, which makes me question, like I said, will this power scaling be very consistent? Which is always questionable when it comes to any series, but we we could find that out we could find that out later in the future. So not too bad of a start, I guess. I mean like um whatever the case is, may be for Itadori himself, or whatever he's gonna go through, it's all on him, man. I mean like um all I know is like um he's gonna be one be in one hell of a ride, which G Sensei or Gojo Sensei telling Itadori, get ready for one hell of a ride you're gonna be entering, man. I mean this ain't gonna be no joke. So yeah. So like I said, not too bad of a start with what's going on, especially with the MC and the storyline looks pretty nice. I mean like um this Sakuna thing seems to be the main thing that Itadori's gonna be a part of, so hopefully this might be done right, but we'll have to see. I mean like um Hopefully they adapt this right, and the power scaling might be consistent, but we'll have to see what it's truly capable of. I mean, yeah. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.